Tom Nappy here, you're watching HCAM News, and I am joined today by John and Jonathan Huber of Crosspoint Associates. Guys, how's it going today? Very well, thanks. Doing well, yeah. All right, now to start off, can you tell us a little bit about what Crosspoint Associates does? Uh, we build, own, and manage grocery anchored shopping centers and commercial properties throughout New England. All right, now uh, Crosspoint Associates recently purchased a property over at 61 Main Street here in Hopkinton the former Colellas. Can you tell us why you guys decided to make that purchase? I think it just it falls in line with our, our business platform of uh, owning uh, community shopping centers in New England communities. And uh, we are, we're close to home. Our office is in Waltham. Uh, some of us grew up in Natick. Some of us grew up in Belmont. We know the area. We love the town. And we're interested in buying a grocery anchored facility. Um, in communities around Boston. Now, uh, some residents are unhappy that a CVS is going there. What would you say to those residents? Well, I wish, I, I, I'm sorry that we've disappointed a number of people um, uh, as a result of putting in a CVS, but I think that it was really the, um, the demand that came out of the market, um, and that's really what, what spoke to the vacancy. Um, we, we tried other, other avenues, and our marketing campaign sort of centered on CVS at the end of the day uh, when we were unable to deliver a grocery store. Now you mentioned in an open letter that you sent to the community that uh, you reached out to a number of grocery stores but they weren't interested in the former Colella's Plaza. Why do you think that is after Colella's was successful there for so long? Well Colella's was successful there for so long because there was no other competition in the market. As soon as Price Chopper opened Coella saw a significant decline in their sales year over year. Uh, when we brought those sales numbers to other grocery operators, uh, we thought there may be an opportunity for a different format store that had different offerings um, that would do well in this market. And unfortunately, that was not the case. Did CVS reach out to Crosspoint Associates about this, or did Crosspoint Associates reach out to CVS? We're in a business that we're in touch with tenants all the time, regularly. It's almost difficult to say who went to whom. Uh, we have CVS as a tenant in other facilities. Um, we have uh, regular meetings with the ICSC, which is the International Council of Shopping Centers. We're in contact with brokers and representatives of CVS on a regular basis, and we're always in constant communication with grocery stores as well. So we feel as though you know we have a, a good, fluid conversation with you know all levels of tenants in the retail business, um, so that uh, you know we try and get. The, get any vacancy we have in our portfolio out to the market on a very aggressive basis to all types of tenants. And uh, essentially, uh, CVS expressed the strong. Actually, their interest was very late in the process, um, but uh, it was it was a welcome interest because we thought it was a good utilization for uh, for the building and for the site. Some residents are worried that this could put Hopkinton Drug out of business. Um, was that a consideration in, in this process when, when CVS came to Crosspoint Associates? I don't think there's, that we have ever as a, as a company, nor am I aware that CVS has ever as a company had a mission to put other businesses out of business. I just don't think that's good business. I think that we, are, we do business in many, many New England towns. And basically, we've seen independents thrive. Uh, and we've seen some of the national companies not do as well because they don't know the market as well. They're not as, they're not as accustomed to doing business in a small market. Uh, so I would say that uh, that is never anyone's mission. Uh, good business, everyone should be able to do well. They do. CVS does something that's different than Huffington Drug. Huffington Drug has its expertise. Uh, which CVS doesn't have. So we would expect both to do well. Now, during this process, did CVS mention the lawsuit with Hopkinton Drug from 2014? We're really not familiar with, uh, and it's really, we do business with the retail pharmacy um, division, and that's really the real estate division. Um, so we really don't know anything about the, the, the other uh, corporations that you know, are under the umbrella. Uh, was CVS a last resort to this location? Was there any other type of business or scenario that could have played out? 
Uh, it was really grocery stores that we first went to. Uh, there were a number that initially had interest, but after doing, uh, you know, uh, market intelligence came back to us and said no, and CVS was really one of the last people that came to us. Now, has Crosspoint Associates faced this much controversy before on a business purchase? Is this the most controversial purchase that Crosspoint Associates has faced? Well, I th it's, it's very unusual. Uh, I think that's what I, I would have to say, is that um, we, as I said, we do business in a lot of New England communities. Um, I think we're very well received in the New England communities where we do business. Um, but I think this is unusual because um, we're, really, we're, we're really occupying a building with a use that's allowed by right under the zoning bylaws, and we're following the guidelines precisely. And uh, we're making very, we're only making interior changes to the building. So I've really never been in a situation where a, where a community um, has um, found fault for following a bylaw. And uh, that is, um, you know, that's the unusual part of it. So I'm not going to say that we haven't been challenged in other communities. I'm going to say that we've never been challenged for a basic property right. Right. Now, uh, lastly, um, you mentioned many reasons uh, why you were attracted to Hopkinton uh, to purchase a, a business here. C can you talk about if, with all this controversy, you'll be looking at uh, perhaps purchasing other properties in Hopkinton? I mean, as we said, we, we purchase properties throughout New England. If uh, the opportunity presents itself and we think that it's justified, then we certainly would be open to the opportunity. All right, terrific. I, w I guess I, I would say that, you know, given uh, that, that we do business in communities like Hoffington, um, and one of the things we really try and do is be a good neighbor and involve ourselves in the community. It's not only Crosspoint, but we expect CVS would involve themselves in the community as well. And I think that we have opportunities to be uh, engaged in a number of ways. We've talked at length uh, with uh, Colellas about what they've done in the community over the years and what things the town expects and what things we can be helpful with, whether it's uh, the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts or some of the opportunities to be helpful to the, the to the. Uh, women who run the the hot dog stand, you know, they need parking. They have no parking for their facility. Um, so we've really just getting started in the process to figure out how we become a, a good neighbor. Um, we always join the chamber of commerce when we when we uh, join a community. So uh, we're looking forward to that. We're sorry that we've disappointed people, but we hope uh, things can be turned around. All right, certainly. Well, thanks for taking the time to join us here on HCAM News, guys. Thanks for having us, Tom. Uh, Jonathan, thanks for coming in. Pleasure. John, thanks Thank for coming you. in. And uh, a lot more ahead coming up on HCAM News. Stay tuned. <laughs>